All right, so I don't do this very often. If you decide to make the mistake of comparing bedpans with me, then um, I'll just say that this is the place that I retired from. Let's make some room on the screen for it. This is the place that I retired from as an analyst. This is the place that I worked before that as an analyst. And um, this is the place that I worked before that as an analyst. So, um, yeah, let's get into the video. Um, last Monday, I talked to you about a, a YouTuber called Patrick Humphrey. No, there has been no back and forth, but literally, guys, I'm going to make this a segment, and I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to send it to him so that he understands. No, he's not going to understand it, because what he's doing is he's using fear to get clicks. That's it. That's all he's doing. <clears throat> In the beginning, he was this homesteader. He was making videos. <clears throat> and I guess, he, I guess he figured out the business model for YouTube. And um, so now this is all he does. Unfortunately, what's happening is he's stating actual lies. And people are believing it. And people are actually typing. I've, <clears throat> I've also noticed, too, that there's comments inside of... Uh, there are posts inside his comments that actually say the same exact thing every time he takes a video about, hey, I really thank you for telling us all of this information. The truth, you keep doing your great job. It's in almost every single one of his videos in the last week. So I wanted to, I wanted to do this so we can, I can actually make a segment uh, and then chop it into a video and make it relevant. So he uh, actually understands that this is bullshit Stop doing it. You're helping nothing. And the thing that really gets me mad is, you know, I, I'm in this. This is my full-time job. This is what I do. I'm a retired Marine. I spent my time. I have a pension that is, you know, the size of, you know, a, a two-year-old's, you know, bank account. Or, or you know, <coughs> I hate to say it, but you can report this fellow for disinformation. But it's not going to matter to fell. Don't worry about that. I think, I think that as long as people know... I think as long as, I hate to say this, but as long as the people that, that, are, that are in my community, that are in my following, uh, understand that it's important. You know, if, if I came right out and said, this is bad, don't do this. It'd be the same as you telling your child that, those exact words. They want to know why it's bad. They want examples and they want it to be relatable, which we're, we, we're actually going to talk about in another segment during this live stream about... Uh, getting your family and friends online with pre with preparedness. Uh, I found a really good article that I think that that hits the basic things. Uh, you know, it's not too in depth. It's not psychological. It's just some very basic things that we can think about. But anyway, uh, these people need to understand what they're doing is wrong. That there are people out there that that don't like it, uh, and uh, they're preying on the weak. They're preying on the weak is what they're doing. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch screens real quick here, uh, and um, we're going to take a sip of coffee. So um, this segment is uh, about a YouTuber called Patrick Humphrey. <clears throat> well, as a person, I do not know, but I've watched his YouTube videos, and I've tried to reach out to him a few times, and I <clears throat> have even posted video seg seg segments on his channel uh, which is kind of a no-no, but I need you to know, Patrick, that it wasn't because I needed likes, okay? If you go over to my TikTok, you've got 78,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel, which I think is awesome. Looking at your thumbnails and your video content, you have clearly cracked the code on reaching people on YouTube. Now, um, But if you go over to my TikTok channel, you'll see that I dwarf you. I make you look like a child, as far as your subscriber count. So I don't need this. This is not about my head being bigger than yours or anything like that, all right? This is about <clears throat> lying to people. This is about not being honest with your subscribers who actually believe you're telling them the truth. And that's a serious problem. Guys, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is his latest video that really got under my skin. Uh, uh, yes, I'm slightly bothered by it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but what I am going to do is I'm going to inform the public <coughs> of the things that are being said that are 
actually not true. These are not knee-jerk, oh my God, we're going to die. That is not what's happening here. He is preying on, Patrick, you are preying on the people that don't understand the truth about these particular things. And I'm going to call you out on it. I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's push play and see what happens here. Big breaking news. World War Three has officially started. We are sending hundreds of troops to Taiwan in an aggressive posture towards China. And we are also threatening China with, quote, consequences. All right. We are going to fight a two pronged war, a two battlefield war. And it does not look good for the United States because our Resources have already been depleted and China controls the world's supply chains. All right, so this is not looking good. We had a top U.S. general warning that war with China is coming by 2025. So they are getting us ready for something big and they keep targeting China, all right, because China is the number one geopolitical and economic threat to the united states we have these chinese spy balloons the past few weeks a major i don't know what what it was some kind of they were giving us this spy balloon narrative for a reason either for a emp attack or to ramp up aggression against china and drag us further into world war three they made it a very big deal and china was even saying that they had balloons flying over their airspace as well all right so and now just a week later, a couple weeks later, we are now sending hundreds of troops to Taiwan. And we are now going to have Taiwanese troops training inside the United States on U.S. soil as well. This is just a major escalation. This is looking like what we already have, 2.0, but even worse because we're going to be funding two massive proxy wars now. And you can see. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop right there, guys. All right, so let, let me let me break it down. Let me break it down for 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 Mr. Humphrey. Okay, the U.S. doctrine within Taiwan is very simple. We have no responsibility to defend them. There have been speeches that say that, oh, we're going to be there for you guys. Um, we're going to go and switch the screen here because I'm tired of looking at his face. <clears throat> There have been speeches that have said that we will help to defend you, uh, but we have no responsibility to defend Taiwan in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> this has always been based on the idea that they develop like 80% of the chips for the world, um, uh, and um, so we, we that's within our national interests, national security interests, but not just that but our national interests you know i mean there's 2500 to 3000 uh chips inside of a an automobile which by the way the prices are through the fucking roof <clears throat> here's what i will tell you mr mr humphrey you don't know what you're talking about if you think that if you talk like this to your microphone that you will sound more relevant it's not it's not true man it's not true you are you're creating fear porn and you are you you don't know what you're talking about and this is bad for your followers now <clears throat> if you don't like what i'm saying then i'm not sorry and i'm not sorry because it's ridiculous that this is what making money has come down to i don't know what you do in the real world I don't care, but clearly this is your business. You should be doing it right. So I'm going to lay a few more facts out for you. Uh, let's see. Thir from 30 to 200 troops in Taiwan is not a massive change in numbers. The standard infantry company is anywhere from 112 to 160. Uh, supported, maybe 120. I have personally... <clears throat> taken infantry companies to other countries and so i actually know those numbers now this is not a big amount this is actually not a big amount whatsoever in fact it's actually smaller than a supported marine expeditionary unit okay um 
likely these troops are mostly support, mostly training support. Uh, this was likely not an actual military unit, but more likely a unit that they put together last minute to accomplish this mission because the U.S. government does this all the time. The Department of Defense does this all the time. They bring units together. They say, we're planning this exercise or operation. You guys are going to operate together. Go off and do some training so you know each other's first names and crap like that. And then boom, you're gone. The military does this all the time. This is not the start of World War III in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> the fact that they're using National Guard, okay, the National Guard, to train uh, the, the Taiwanese army is kind of a joke, guys. It's kind of a joke. We have a, um, a program within the Department of Defense where we train each other's peoples, okay? We don't do that to make them better or let them learn the way we do things. <clears throat> we do it because it's a career progression step within the services. For instance, I have trained with the British Royal Marines. Uh, I've done unbelievable training in the worst places on the planet uh, with different services. Uh, uh, let's see, the British Royal Marines, the uh, uh, the Thai Marine, I mean, British Special Forces. I'm, I, it's really difficult to talk about this without naming names, but they come over and attend our schools so that they can go back and teach those things. And they don't just sh send Joe Schmo. They send like their, their lead sergeants who actually are good trainers already or warrant officers or commissioned officers. They come over to train with us. You know what I'm saying? There is a constant and evolving program where we do this, this crossover where they come to train with us and we come to train with them. <clears throat> and then they use that as part of their career progression. <clears throat> For instance, if a... If a, let me give you a real world situation. If, uh, how do I say this? In the real world, I have been witness to a Polish engineer coming over to go through Marine Platoon Sergeant's course because he needed to go through that equivalent while he was on active duty so that he could go back and take over a platoon of engineers. It was like a leadership course. So, uh, stop this fear mongering. As you saw, I have unsubscribed from you. I'm going to go out here and say something I almost never, ever, ever say because God knows I am not perfect. I would ask everybody who follows Mr. Patrick Humphrey to stop following him so that, one, he can better himself and understand what he is doing is wrong. Not as a punishment, but to realize that when you lie to your community, you are hurting your community. And if you can better yourself from this, because I get a, I get a strong sense of religious background, watching some of his older videos. When you can learn from this, then you can be better. And that means that you'll be better to your community. Now, it kind of bothers me that you do have this religious background and you're lying. It really, really bothers me. It not only makes me question your, your religious faith, because regardless, you're not allowed to lie. And I think I'm going to leave it at that, guys.